on the hour, sponsored by Eggland's Best. I'm Stacey Lynn in Washington. Omicron is here, but CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky says Delta hasn't gone anywhere and cases are up 37%. Over 99% of cases in this country right now are caused by the Delta variant, which is driving increases in cases and hospitalizations. And hospitalizations are up in all but eight states. The seven-day average of hospital admissions is about 7,400 cases per day, also an increase of about 16% over the previous week. And the seven-day average of daily deaths are at about 1,100 per day, which is an increase of about 28% over the prior week. The Supreme Court rules Texas's abortion ban stays in place, but clinics can sue. CBS News Chief Legal Correspondent Jen Crawford. While allowing the providers to proceed on these narrow grounds, the ruling will not stop private parties from suing clinics. That means the provider's best hope now is in the state courts. A state court judge in Texas last night ruled the law was unconstitutional, and others may soon follow. At the National Cathedral in Washington today, a funeral for Bob Dole. Robin Dole paid a heartfelt tribute to her father. He believes in giving second chances, and I know that firsthand. He was my rock. President Biden called Dole a giant of our history. Later at the White House, the president addressed inflation, which jumped up 6.8 percent. The president acknowledges the harm inflation is causing for families, calling it a real bump in the road. They're paying more for things they need than they had to pay before. But he takes on critics who say enhanced government spending is to blame. Well, that's not the reason for the inflation. Instead, Mr. Biden blames the pandemic, which has led to a supply crunch. Republicans argue $2 trillion of new social spending in the Build Back Better plan could lead to even higher prices. The president insists it won't. It's reducing costs for ordinary people. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. An ugly weather forecast in parts of the country. The National Weather Service has posted a four out of five risk of severe weather, including tornadoes, for later today and overnight across the Mid-South centered around the Missouri boot heel. More than 50 million people could be threatened by severe weather in the lower Midwest, mid and deep south. More severe storms are predicted for Saturday from Mississippi to Ohio. Jim Crisula, CBS News. The prosecution has rested its case at the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell, who's accused of sexually abusing teen girls with Jeffrey Epstein. Markets closing the week in the green. The Dow up 216 points, NASDAQ up 113, S&P up 45. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.